Hi and welcome to Miso Tarot's readings. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to talk about something that's extremely um, vulnerable to me at this moment. I've taken a few weeks off, as you might have noticed, uh, sporadically throughout um, this summer. And this year, 2015, has been really, really difficult and tested me. And um, one of the things that I wanted to bring up is that at the beginning of the year for uh, New Year's, I chose the word perseverance. I think next year I'm going to choose like happiness or something. <laughs> um, because it has been a challenging summer year. And, sorry, um, my perseverance, my, my, my belief in my spirituality and my business has been tested. And I've been wanting to talk about this for quite a while, but uh, for whatever reason I wasn't ready to yet, but now I am. So when my cards got stolen, it was like losing a friend and a connection to my closest spirit guides and who helps me. It made me question everything. Am I doing the right business? Am I helping people in the right way? Do I even help people? <laughs> and of course my regular clients all say I do and I've spoken to people and everybody and they all love everything and that's not the point here but it was something within deep within myself and I've also noticed that my gifts and abilities have been changing in a rapid way as well. I now uh, no longer really need the card so they kind of feel almost um, unnecessary to me but yet I still use them. So is it a crutch or what is it? And then with what I do for my business and teaching people business skills for their tarot businesses, um, it's kind of creating a friction for me. So I've decided to expand a little bit and go to spiritual businesses and I'm going to be focusing more on the business side of things rather than the spiritual side of things, but bringing in spirituality and intuition into business as I really feel guided to do so at this time. And I just saw a little white butterfly here as I said that. Um, but it's been a really, really difficult and transformational time and I believe that this is what all of this 2015 and even before at the end of 2014 that transformation that I was talking about is all different right it's like you walk in and one person you think you want to go one direction you want to do things and you think you've been guided and everything and you think you know and then stuff such as that theft for my cards or something really bad happens to you and you go like what the fuck just happened <laughs> why are you doing this to me and it tests your faith and I went and I did a little bit of a spiritual journey to uh, this place and there's no internet there's no um, cell phone service it's up 55 kilometers of a dirt road and as I was going and I was driving by myself and I knew that my grandfather and my grandmother my Baba and Dida from different sides of the family that both passed over were with me I knew my business spirit guide was there. I knew that my other spirit guides were there. It was like a whole car full of us, but it was really just me. 
and I didn't know where the hell I was going. <laughs> and I just followed and I trusted and it was this place that I wanted to go to what I had in my uh, list of places to go this year and I was led there by spirit. And as I went through the journey, as I went through 55 kilometers of dirt road and not knowing where I was going and wondering if I had enough gas and wondering if I would make it and wondering if everything. Bottom line is, is you've got to really have faith. You've got to believe. You will be tested. <laughs> Trust me, you'll be tested time and time again. And you have to be sure in what you're doing. When I first, first got that I was supposed to be as a sole purpose uh, tarot reader, I got really mad. I was like, a tarot reader? Really? What? How on earth am I going to help people by being a tarot reader? And I looked into it and tarot readers don't make that much money and blah blah blah. And then it came to me in a big flash that I was meant to help other people that had been in the business for 30 years or 20 years or just getting started and revamp into a new way of being and a new way of professionalism and a new way of getting your message out there and helping the clients that need you. Because what happens is that we each and every one of us has a special and unique gift that we need to share with the world in whatever way. And truly, you need to follow it. It's your soul's purpose. And unless you're following it, then you're kind of wasting your time here on earth, aren't you? And trust me, I want to go back home. <laughs> because I feel like Earth is too hard sometimes because I feel too much energy from people and a lot of people don't understand. <laughs> I know you do, that's why you're subscribed. That's why you follow me and that's why you give me patience and I thank you and I love you for that. And I will give you and continue to give everything I've got like I have been doing and I'm just going to get better and more focused, but uh, this is what I was getting to, is that I know I was given this for a reason. I know I am meant to help you, and I know that I am meant to help spiritual entrepreneurs all over the world grow businesses so that they can be profitable, that they can help people, so that we can make a difference, so that we can help this world raise up to a vibration where everyone's kind and we focus on healing instead of pumping drugs into ourselves and and uh, and getting angry and stuff like that although I've been angry before but it's partly to do with it's just trust and faith and belief and you are the creator of your life and your destiny and when you accept that challenge. That's when life gets really scary. You have to get out of your comfort zone. And that's when it really starts. That's when you start playing big. That's when you start being that leader in your community. That's when life happens. That's when things flow. That's when money rolls in. That's when relationships are here. And trust me, you have to go through a lot and you have to release a lot of crap and it's a continual basis. It doesn't stop in order to get to that point. This year I have released more crap and unpeeled more layers than I ever have in my life and I still feel like I've got a hundred more to go. But, um, you know, I'm getting there. <laughs> And I feel in my day-to-day -day life is that I actually know almost too much. I'm so in tune to things that I can 
read it before it's happening, which is hard for the loved ones probably around me because they don't understand how I know stuff. Uh, because nobody around me is a uh, quote-unquote psychic <laughs> or intuitive in any way. They uh, avoid it at all costs, even though I know that they are. Um, maybe you're in the same spot. With this uh, YouTube channel, I am going to be still doing readings. I am going to do the Oracle and Tarot card readings. And I'm going to be focusing them more for entrepreneurship, as well as my Instagram account and Mesotero Facebook page are all going to be going towards business growth and reaching out to spiritual entrepreneurs. I hope you stay with me for the messages because I'm sure the messages will resonate with you one way or another and I know that if you are already with me and you've joined me, you already do tarot for yourself or uh, a small group of people around you and you too need to get out there and start helping those around you and people around the world because entrepreneurship is calling your name and a, and a career in the, spirit, in the spiritual arts and healing is with you and you've always had that inkling and I know it. I know it. I know I got mine a long time ago and maybe you've been not listening even though you know but I'm asking you to listen and take the steps. It requires courage. Take the baby steps. Do the one thing at a time. Do the one email. Do the one phone call. Do the one thing. Sign up for the one class. Do whatever it takes for you to do it. I myself, I'm now, I don't know why I was crying through this, but I'm now renewed and almost fully rejuvenated so that I can help in a bigger and better way and now I'm more focused and I promise to do my best for you and uh, I was going to, and I have cards here to do a reading so I'm gonna do a really quick reading after all of this and I hope you stick with me and I'm sending you love as you are going through all of this healing stuff as well so Page of Pentacles is the transformation of uh, health and money. So that's a beautiful news after everything that I just said, isn't it? <laughs> um, I'm really seeing the grass here, and the grass is greener on the other side when you step into it when you step into where you're meant to be and where you're meant to go. And remember that you're always supported by your angels and you can ask for it. Get grounded as well. This is the other thing is that I've been feeling really flighty lately. I need to spend more time grounding myself and um, spending time in actual like forests and stuff like that. Okay, middle of the week. Six of Wands. Woohoo! Victory again. See, so the continuation of the grass there. Growth. And you know that saying, growing pains. But it always turns out for the good. It's been a long, hard battle, but you're going to be victorious. This is the way to go. Have faith and courage and step into it. Even trying times, at the end of it, it's a blessing in disguise, isn't it, right? Because if you didn't go through it, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that you were meant to be where you're meant to be. When I was on that trip going, I just kept on hearing, keep going, keep going, have faith, believe, whatever you desire is yours. And that's a message for you as well. Oh, look at this. This is like the best cards in a long time. Ten of Cups. So, I don't know if you know or not, but I've been dating somebody, and this is a really good family card, uh, good for children, home life, being happy, the rainbow, lots of happiness, and, uh, and just about focusing on home and family. 
you can't, you can probably hear the dog, Thor, but he's here. I'll show you him in a minute. Um, Ten of Cups is about emotional wellness too, right? So this is about getting into, you know, transformation for health, keeping that positive mindset. The other thing that I'm feeling is affirmations, and affirmations will bring in happiness in your home. And whoops, here, check out Thor. Isn't he cute? And then let's see. Oh, birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to your question. Now, this is the magical messages from, oh, the fairies, excuse me. And that's funny because my birthday is September 30th and I'm going to be 40. And, um, sometimes I wish I was further <laughs> along. Although I've done a lot in my life and I'm very proud of how far I have come. And I've been an entrepreneur since 20, from 2008. And everyone said I couldn't do it and they said watch me and here I am. So, <laughs> that's that. And, um... I've been curious about my birthday as well for a lot of reasons. I'll fill you in closer to the date. And let's do the romance angels here. And the soulmate card is yes. This is your soulmate. And I've been finding that, you know, my cards for me, when I read for myself, aren't being totally honest with me in one way and yet in another way I feel that they're being like pushing me to try to believe things right but you have to listen to your gut instinct okay no matter what and especially with the soulmate cards I've seen before uh, when I've been dating somebody and I get the soulmate card and then they're really not my soulmate if you're feeling any red flags or doubtful or whatever, I want you to listen to that intuition no matter what card or no matter what reader says. If it is not a healthy relationship, get out. Make plans to make a move immediately. Nobody needs emotional abuse or feeling like they're walking on uh, eggshells or... Um, even worse, physical or uh, feeling um, alone or in danger when you go home or groaning when um, your partner is at home and you wish they were out. On the other hand, if somebody is good to you 98% of the time and they're really trying to be open and honest and they're having open conversations, then yes, they can be your soulmate and they can be a romance of the lifetime and don't be afraid at the same time to let that in because you are very lovable and you deserve to be loved unconditionally. Just as I do. <laughs> but it's hard to accept sometimes, isn't it? Anyways, so this is the most emotional reading I've done. Um, I hope, uh, I wish you all the best this week. And next week I'm going to be not crying. <laughs> and, you know, I'm wishing you the best and I'm sending you lots of love.